And hello once more, this is Splattercat, and today we will be playing episode 11 of our Nomoria Let's Play. Um, we left some goblins outside of our walls to starve recently, which was kind of a cruel act of fate, but frankly we can't keep fighting these goblins off, they have just been wiping out my gnomes. Um, downstairs, we're actually getting a lot of our workshops thrown together. The only way I see this whole goblin thing backfiring is if my refugees show up. If my refugees show up, we could end up with a number of them getting killed by goblins. But that's really the only thing I've thought of thus far that may backfire and totally just screw us. But for now... now he's already thirsty, so he should... They should die of thirst fairly soon. Um, what I would like to see in future versions of the game is maybe if you don't take care of the goblins, maybe they build their own little settlement out here, and then you've got to contend with their settlement. Um, and they start multiplying more, or something along those lines. That might be an interesting gameplay idea that you could enable or disable. But for now, we're not going to worry about it. Um, this gentleman from the kingdom of Apple Velvet. Um, I feel bad. He's been trapped here. We've kind of garrisoned him here. Hopefully the kingdom of Apple Velvet does not take offense. Um, because if they do, it sucks to be the kingdom of Apple Velvet. Because their merchants stay in here and there's nothing they can do about it. I'm interested in seeing what these leather workers can do. It looks like they can make some leather gear. I don't know how many hides it takes, but uh, I would like to see... Let's go ahead and make five cuirasses. How many do we have here? It looks like there are six subdivisions. So we have enough to make five of each, I think. So I'm going to make five of each of those. Oh, never mind. Hold on. Yeah, we have enough. <laughs> Poor math skills. And we already made two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'll cancel one of those. Just doing a recount to make sure my counting is correct on all of these. And then we have five gloves, and then we'll do five boots as well. Because we have just no idea. Our next shipment could be all warrior gnomes, and if it's all warrior gnomes in our next shipment, of uh, nomads, I would really, really, really like to be able to equip them, and I just don't want them to be useless bums like the rest of my gnomes have been because they lack the equipment they need. So we're making some curuses over here. I don't know what those are worth. They're worth 12. They are superiorly crafted, so Duhispix is throwing down and just doing his job beautifully. Nobody has to tell Duhispix how to do his job. Um, he is taking care of business. And it looks like we have another barrel that's going to be moved here. I'm really trying to keep an eye on my stockpiles of wood at the moment because that's the only thing that I don't have a renewable resource of is I'm not planting and getting more wood um, at any occasion. We are we do not have any wood coming to us at any good time and that's what she said. Um, I apologize for that. That was that was a lowest common denominator joke and I, I enjoy lowest common denominator jokes. That's just a little a little factoid about Splattercat. Um, and for now our food supply just seems to be skyrocketing. So, what I would like to do with our food supply is actually we should probably start selling it off. Um, I'm not completely sure what you can do with some of these strawberries and things. I am going to turn... We have a lot of wheat, so I think I'm going to craft... I think I'm going to turn our wheat is going to be our primary. We're just going to turn wheat into bread, and then we're going to turn... Let's see here. We're going to do the same thing with the yak meat. Um, I think we're going to take the yak meat and we're just going to repeat craft it into sausage, I think. And then from there, we'll have bread and sausage and we can just use our fruit as vendor fodder maybe. And we can actually start just turning our fruit into wine. So I'm going to take that, and I think I'm going to have him craft to maybe 50, 50 buckets of wine, maybe? I don't know. We have a lot of beer laying around, but uh, there we go. we got loaves of bread happening. Our kingdom is just doing fantastically. This poor guy from Apple Velvet. Where are these goblins hiding at? Are they starved off yet? Goblins, where are you? Is there a thing I can look at here where you can look at things that aren't part of your population? I guess not. Uh, I'm not seeing these goblins anywhere. They don't appear to be hiding out anywhere. They were spotted, so they are there still. They have not died. 
it should give us a notification and or a notification whenever they clear out and starve to death but for now we are on the 12th day of summer we're about to wrap up our final season we've got helmets we've got some curuses going on we're just looking good right now we got a number of completed goods that I'm really proud of my gnomes for getting done with for once I am happy with my kingdom I am content and I like what everybody's doing we have a reasonable supply of copper and other metals for once we get ourselves a metal worker I thought miners double as metal workers but I don't know um, take a look here yeah they don't Oh, why are you custom or your skills let's see here mining smelting blacksmithing so since you're already custom let's add you to the queue as a metal worker because my miners are just kind of walking around doing nothing right now I'm um, just generally hauling and I would like to see at least some metal production at some point here I really do dislike it when it rains because it seems to just clog the whole game up and make everything run terribly uh, fraps is probably not helping with the issue but you know how it goes for now, it appears that Apple Velvet Man is just hanging out. We have a lot of production going on, and what I would like to see is I'm going to come down here to my carpenter, and we're just going to get some four poster beds going. Um, we don't have any planks, actually, unfortunately, so I guess I'll wait until some planks are being produced. Um, we do seem to be having... Huh. Well, what can you do? I was going to say, we're having trouble keeping up with our wood planks here, but it looks like our cotton supply is getting ahead of us as well. We're just not using our cotton supply as well as we should. So I guess I'll come over here to the loom and tell them just to uh, repeat craft cotton bolts until I use them all up, because we are getting a little ahead of ourselves in terms of cotton bolts. I would like to get rid of some of them so that if we get a, a vendor that comes by, we can actually just kind of destroy it all. Um, there seems to be some general issue going on, so I'm going to cut off episode 10 nice and short, and I will see you in the next episode. This has been Splattercat. If you are enjoying the videos, please feel free to subscribe, comment, and I will see you in the next episode.